Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for clicking on the video. And I got this really nice home called the McKenzie. It's got a front porch, it's got a back porch, it's got a really unique floor plan. What I really like about this one is you can see it is a double wide, but it goes this way instead of this way with the floor plan layout so really nice layout now when you first walk in it is kind of an open floor plan still but all your bedrooms are on one side of the home and it looks really good I love the way they did the layout on this one I know y'all are gonna like it too so there's your back door to your utility room so just uh, check it out, link in the description below. That'll take you to Pratt Homes here in Tyler, Texas, where they have got a ton of really nice homes. So you're going to want to check out all the homes they got. Here is your back porch. So and as you can see, one half of the home is a little bit shorter than the other. So it also just kind of helps with that layout and just makes it, like I said, really nice. Let's see if I can, we'll come out and get you a better shot of this porch here in just a sec. So your back porch is basically identically in size to your front porch. Now this one would be perfect with that big opening right there. Maybe keep the beam, take this out, and extend your back porch way out that way. But yeah, really nice porch. So we do have a spot for a light out here, like a like a ceiling fan or something of that nature. So overall, I like this front porch here. There'd be plenty of room to set up like a little rocker or something like that. Maybe set you up a porch swing down at that end. You got the full on glass here with the blinds in the door. So once we come in, I'm looking back towards where we just came into the home. There's your tray ceiling. Now you've got the crown molding all the way around the home, including in your tray. Now I thought I had, <laughs> said somebody came in. They must have turned out a couple of lights. I thought I had those turned on also. There we go. Oh, see, now you get to view some of the kitchen. your living room area. Now as you can see there's a little hallway off to the side of your living room. That goes back into your kids rooms. So it looks really good. And you can see they've got easy placement of the furniture in here. And since the rooms are up here, we're just going to go ahead and do the bedrooms now, along with the master or guest bathroom. Now there's no drawers in here, but you do have your linen cabinets. And hello, Raiden. Now 
And then they went with that really big shower tub combo. You got transom window up above you there. And into bedroom number one. Now, I don't know the exact square footage of the home. Like I said, I didn't have a floor plan to look at. And this one, unfortunately, didn't have any of the information on the fridge like a lot of them do. So I can generally get a copy of the floor plan. And I see people coming in. So I can't remember if I got the closet or not. So let's go up here and get the closet. And directly across from that bedroom is bedroom number two. Now this one is full of trim supplies. Got all your roofing materials and stuff like that in there. We can come down and take a look at your bar over here. Now this is a nice tall bar. Can I get a shot of milk? Maybe some cookies to go with that. Got some Oreo double stuff. <laughs> All right. All right, enough joking around, right? I really like this tin layout or this tin backing they've got here. Definitely not going to stick your foot through that when you go to push away from the bar. And then we've got uh, our stainless steel Whirlpool appliances in this appliance package. Keep in mind, you can always change your appliance to a different brand. You can get a different color. I've seen the gunmetal stainless steel. I've seen ones that actually are the same color as the cabinets. So they put like a facing on them. So there's a lot of different options that you can get with appliance packages. And then we've got the farmhouse sink with all your attachments that go with it including this really hefty cutting board that's got some weight to it <laughs> let me tell you then you've got both your white subway tile and this designer tile all mixed in together looks really good couple of corner cabinets here. Like I said, I can't open a drawer without something being in there, I swear. <laughs> Doesn't matter what drawer I pick, the first drawer always has something in it. And it don't matter if I choose one on the end or one in the middle. <laughs> so you can see you will have adjustable shelves. They've got them all stacked at the top up there. Now look at the size of this island. And you've got a ton of walk space between your island and your wall over here. A couple cabinets in the end. We've got the USB plugs. A lot more cabinets in here. And then we've got our pots and pans drawers right next to your stove. I can get the camera to turn. There we go. See, stove's right there. Our refrigerator is right here. Now, I will say this is a little bit narrow. So keep that in mind. This portion is a little on the narrow side. So maybe when you option this home in, 
move your island this way just a little bit more, give you some more space in between there. And our microwave is right there at the perfect height. So of course our dining room is at the end of the kitchen. Now this looks really nice. I mean, look how much space you have for your dining room. The whole width of a section of your home. So I believe this is gonna be a 30 foot wide. So this is gonna be 15 foot, roughly speaking. But I mean, that is a ton of space. Three windows in your dining room plus this full window door. And so from the back porch in the dining area, we're gonna come into <clears throat> your master bedroom. Nice big bedroom here. And we've got a huge walk-in closet. Now if the two doors doesn't indicate anything, let me just show you. So we'll come in this door. We'll circle around. Yep. The whole width of the home, of this section, I should say. So, I mean, and to give you an idea, your back porch is on the other side of this. And then our bathroom over here. Got the huge tub, soaker tub, the dual sinks. Now they went with a darker colored cabinet in here. These are more of a black or really dark blue. I would say they're a very dark blue. Nice big vanity. Then your water closet's right here. And in our shower, they've got the door propped so that it won't shut. So we're just gonna have to go like this to get you a shot of your shower. Now they went with that blonde wood tile and then that same designer tile that they had in the kitchen. So it looks really good. And I would hope that all you good looking folks, yes, you're all good looking, We'll go down there and leave me a comment down below. What do you think of this style of floor plan with all the rooms on this side of the home, all the living space on this side? Let me know what you think. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. That way you get notified when I upload a video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your family and hey, just post it on Facebook, whatever else. I know there's somebody that wants to see this. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Well, welcome back. I know it's just been a few seconds, right? But anyway, we got to get into some price information on this home. Now, this one is at Pratt Homes in Tyler, Texas. Once again, this is called the McKenzie. It is 1,866 square foot. Now, this one, I believe, can be had, for based on what they told me, can be had as both a modular and a manufactured home. So the price that I have for this one as shown though was as a manufactured. So that's the price information I will give you to start with, I should say. And as a manufactured, this home would range depending on options 
anywhere from $75 a square foot all the way up to $100 a square foot. So that makes it pretty affordable. Okay, so as a modular, this one would range from $120 a square foot all the way up to $160 a square foot. So depending on which way you go, this home could be either really affordable or you could, you know, spend a fair, fair amount of money on it. Of course, you know, as a modular, there's extra fees, you know, like cranes and foundations and things like that. So that's why they cost a little bit more. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you're hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next one. By the way, don't forget to share this video. And uh, have a great day. Bye.